Hi everyone! Good afternoon. I hope everyone is having a good Friday right now. I'm just gonna pull this up real quick. Get everything set up here. Do, do, do. Okay, so my name's Kayla. I'm here with Broken Compass Creations. And today I'm gonna be doing a live let me get my other leg in here. Live painting tutorial of this. Oh shoot, where is it? Oh. Of this rustic quilt square. So in my business, I do custom door hangers and signs. Um, and I also just do some other designs that I think people would like, but I take custom orders. And I also do paint parties, which is very exciting because I haven't, um, those have really been on hold, given everything that's been going on in the world. Um, but starting in July, I'm going to be open for paint parties again. So that's really exciting. I can talk to you a little bit about that today too. And then I also do art kits. So this was an art kit. And in the art kit comes the wooden blank, all the paint and brushes and everything you need to create this item. And so um, I come up with these right now. I'm doing them every two weeks. So we'll see um, how often I do them once paint parties start up again and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can order art kits from me. So this was my previous art kit and I do a live tutorial on one of the kits that I um, sell. So yeah, today we're going to be painting that. Um, and I have my wooden blank right here. I did go ahead and um, do two coats of white to start out. So I just did two base coats of white and made them nice and smooth. When I'm doing base coats, I like to dip my brush in just a little bit of water and um, then go ahead and put the paint on with it. It helps it go on a little smooth. So I just went ahead and took care of that so it had time to dry. Sometimes when I have like lots of orders I'm working on, I do like, I know what I'm going to work on the next day and then I do base coats the day before. So it has a long time to dry because I get very impatient about stuff, waiting for things to dry. So I went ahead and just did my base coat yesterday and um, drew on some lines so I know what my pattern is. Um, if you bought the kit from me, the lines actually come on them. I put them on with Sharpie and you can just paint over the Sharpie and it doesn't show through. So that's pretty cool too. So if I ever sell something that has a lot of design on it, for now, I am putting the Sharpie on it so you know where it is and you can just paint over it. Um, in the future, there will be something else coming out that is even cooler, but that's on the down low for right now. So we are gonna start out with some red paint. I am using the Deco Art Americana matte paint. For all my paint today, that's my favorite paint brand. And the red we're using is called True Red. So we're gonna start with the stripes down at the bottom of the design. So I'm gonna dip my brush in just a little bit of water and grab some red paint here. And start painting these stripes. And the really great thing about this design is that it is rustic, meaning it doesn't have to be perfect, which is a really great beginner design. I feel like a lot of people get intimidated by painting. They get, um, they think they're not creative. And first of all, that's not even true. But second of all, um, there are some really easy ones for people to just, you know, do and not have to worry about perfection by any means. Um, yes, if you're hopping on, say hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> My mom's always on here. The most supportive. Um, I don't know how many people I'll grab today on a Friday afternoon, but if you're catching the replay, you are still welcome to comment. That is totally fine, too. So I'm just using a large flat tip brush and painting these red stripes down at the bottom. So I can I thought this was a really a really cute design for um, 
4th of July coming up. So I kind of like the rustic idea with it too since it's like a quilt square. I don't know, it just reminded me of like farmhouse type thing or something. Farmhouse decor, something like that. Just paint these stripes. Again, they just, they don't have to be perfect. It's totally fine because we are gonna rough this puppy up. So it's totally, totally okay. Okay, so I'll go ahead and let that dry before I put a second coat on because when you, um, with acrylic paint, if you don't let it dry between each um, paint, uh, what am I trying, painting the coat, the coat of paint, then you're just moving around paint and it doesn't really do anything for you. So I'm going to try to clean up my brush as much as possible. Red is always the hardest thing to get out of a paintbrush, I feel like, so it takes a little bit. Hi, Grandma Pressler. She's watching today too. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to take the blue. This is, wow, this is called True Blue. I didn't realize that. True Blue, also a um, Deco Americana art paint. And I'm going to paint this top square. Hi, Christiane. <laughs> I'm going to paint this top square blue. So the stars are gonna go on top of the blue, but um, I have a little cutout for the stars so we don't have to paint around them. Kind of just a pain. So we're gonna just go ahead and paint on this blue in nice long strokes. Cause that is what helps, the, again, helps the paint go on smooth. Christian's watching. Um, Christian, your order is on its way. Steven, <laughs> my husband just took it to the post office. Um, so Christian just ordered something recently. And it's on its way. It's really cute. I'm going to post it later this week. I know it's a gift, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> but um, it's a cute gift, and I, I uh, thought it was a really good idea. Sometimes people have custom orders, and I'm just like, you guys, you got some good ideas. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you, Christiane. Um, and I'm just still using this larger top, flat tip brush today, too. So. No. Doing a lot of work today with this flat tip brush. So if you did order the kit... Um, you got this type of brush in it as well as the paint and one other type of brush that we're going to use too. So those are pretty cool. So at the beginning of this video I said that um, you know I haven't been doing paint parties because of COVID and starting in July I'm going to be offering paint parties again so I'm really excited. Um, to be doing that so if you know of anyone or if you yourself would want to host a paint party please let me know and reach out to me um, I feel like I don't know how many people around here like know what paint parties are or maybe have a vague idea but basically um, a paint party is like I come to you so wherever you want to host it so a lot of people host them at their homes or like at a church fellowship room or something or even at a restaurant if you get permission from the restaurant you can host it there and then you um so I come to you so someone is like the host of the party essentially who's that person's just responsible for like getting people <laughs> to come so whether it's your group of friends whether it's like co-workers um you know if it's for a specific if it's for a birthday party whatever because I'll do kids or um adults it doesn't matter I'm trying to think it's so a little wet I'm gonna wait to put the second coat of red on I'm gonna go ahead and start in this middle star I want to make sure let's see okay so I'm gonna do red so I'm gonna use this smaller um, round tip brush and start putting some red in this middle star of the quilt square um but yes, the paint parties. So basically, I um, 
come to you and I bring all the supplies. So similar to the art kits, like I bring the wooden blanks, I bring all the paint, all the brushes, everything you need to make whatever you're making. And then I help teach you how to do it. So it's kind of nice because it gets a little, I know some people are very much independent and they want to just free for all, let it go. Like they're going to do it themselves. And then other people are a little bit more wanting like much more direction and instruction and so I feel like it's nice to be in a group like that it's easy to kind of provide what people need if you don't want a lot of instruction by all means just go for it if you want a lot of instruction I am there to help teach you how to make whatever you are planning on making so um and then also too I think a cool thing is you don't all have to paint the same thing like I know there are places you can go and take classes but you all have to paint like the same design you do not have to do that when you have paint parties with me um you literally bring the party to us exactly <laughs> uh, I bring the party to you um but yeah you can all be painting different designs I probably like limit the I give you like I don't know five different choices um to decide of what you'd want to paint and then you can decide you know out of those five what looks most appealing to you um, and then I can bring it to you cut it out bring it to you um, to paint and yeah so that's kind of nice too because it's you know I know not everyone always wants to paint the exact same thing so I can mix it up um, for you so you don't all have to be doing the same thing if you can't can't agree on whatever it is you guys want to paint so that's really exciting I'm super pumped to be starting soon to be starting to do paint parties um, for in-person stuff so then you can create your own stuff too which is really fun and I think there's just so many reasons to have um, a paint party too like like I said if it was for like a birthday party um, whether it's for adults or kids, it doesn't really matter. Um, or just like a fun like girls night or if you want to do like a mom and me type thing. If you were trying to like, if it was Mother's Day or you were trying to celebrate, I don't know, your mom for something or anything like that. Like I think it could just be um, a really fun, fun idea, something unique. And it's really like low maintenance for you, I feel like, um, especially if you have it in your home because then you're just, you know, hosting people over like you normally would and then I bring everything to you. So there's not a lot of extra stuff. Plus, if you want to have food, like there's no limit on obviously you're providing whatever you want to provide. So if you want to provide drinks or food, totally up to you. There's not limits on that. So that's kind of cool, too. That is like the in introvert in me. I'm very introverted. <laughs> that I like don't want to have to leave my house to um, go, you know, have friends over and do a paint party or something like that. I don't have to like go outside my comfort zone to do that. It's the introvert in me. Okay. So I painted the red middle um, star. And it's going to need a second coat. Um, red doesn't cover super well so it always needs a second coat but that is okay we will give it a second coat I'm gonna go ahead and paint the blue little parts of the star in the middle right now as well while we're here and then we'll go back and give the red stripes a second coat too so that way if you are watching go ahead and click the button at the bottom of this video to sprinkle the love if you feel so inclined, if you feel like someone might like this video or learn from it or like things I create, that really, really helps me out. Um, helps get my name out there to others. So please um, sprinkle the love and I would greatly appreciate it. anyone have any weekend plans who's watching anyone have any uh, anything fun they're doing this weekend I don't think we have a lot planned my husband is not working so that's exciting so we're gonna <laughs> hang out this weekend um, hopefully it's gonna be nice continue to be nice so 
we can enjoy some good weather. My husband's been building a uh, fire pit in our backyard, so maybe we'll get to use that too. That would be fun. I'm like just so pumped to be able to have some, like real s'mores at home. I'm obsessed with s'mores, so whenever I get the craving, I always have to put it in the microwave, and it's just not the same, you know? It's just not the same in the microwave. Manny Petty and organizing my garage. <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend. I'm really excited to get my nails done. Weekend plans equal work. <laughs> At least I have a bonfire in sports me. Oh, Christiane, I'm sorry you have to work this weekend. That does stink. But I will totally eat a s'more for you. <laughs> Be happy to. So these, um, these kits are uh, able for local delivery or shipping, so if you're not local to my area, you can still get a kit and paint with me if you want, um, so that's kind of cool, because I know I originally wasn't going to do shipping, I wasn't sure how much it would be and whatever, but it turned out to be not much different than shipping just the door hanger itself so I went ahead and uh, decided to go ahead and do shipping so if you want to do a art kit with me and you're not local you can do that too which is really kind of fun and also another good alternative to paint parties because I will only do paint parties somewhat locally I will be willing to travel um, I think up to probably about an hour away or so as long as you have like you know a good amount of people I don't want to travel like for an hour if there's only gonna be a few of you there um, but so yeah if you're like not you're way far away um, the art kits are kind of fun because you can still do um, kind of paint with me virtually um, without you know missing out or anything Cleaning out a bedroom. That sounds like work. Ooh, so that could be a lot of work for sure. Everyone's organizing. Organizing bedroom, garage, all this stuff. Okay. So now we have just our first coat of paint. It, everything needs a second coat, but. We're on, well on our way over here to get this rustic look going. So we're going to go ahead and do a second coat of the red down here. And make it nice and sharp. Some nice sharp red. Have you guys started decorating for um, Fourth of July? Has anyone put any fun patriotic decorations up? Do you decorate for Fourth of July? I guess I should ask that. Um, I have um, some really cute patriotic things up on my website. If you do want to get any patriotic themed decor. Um, I actually just made all my patriotic signs and door hangers are 25% off if you use the code USA in all caps. So if you go onto my website, there is a patriotic category on the left side that you can click. And anything within the patriotic category um, is 25% off from now until July 4th. So that's exciting if you guys do want to get something for yourself or for a friend. Now's a good time to do it because I am doing a little sale if you use the promo code. It is on the website too, so 
I mean, USA isn't that hard to remember, but if you forget, it is on the website, so you can go and find it there as well. I feel like I make all these things, and um, I need to put one on my door. Mine Right now, I have the Welcome Lemons sign um, up on my door, and I need to put maybe something, change it up a little. I have so many... So many options that I could do. I'm just gonna paint this corner real quick with this smaller flat tip brush or round tip brush. Because my other brushes will get a little a little large for this corner. Just paint it. Okay. And y'all, as you can see, like I am not perfectly in the lines here. <laughs> it's not happening and it's totally okay because we, like I said, it's going to be rustic and so you won't even be able to tell at the end, which is awesome. Um, clean. Are the ones on sale already painted? Yes, they are already painted. Um, they're door hangers that are done. If you wanted to buy something patriotic that wasn't painted, that was blank, you can send me a message um, and we can, you know, talk about how much it would cost and stuff like that. I'm not, there, there won't be a kit involved at the moment, but um, if you just wanted like a blank wooden um, piece, I could possibly do something like that for you if you're interested. But the ones on the site are painted. Uh, they're painted and finished and sprayed and ready to be bought. Well, at least the ones I currently have in inventory. I guess if a lot of people buy a certain one, I might uh, have to make some more. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a second coat of this blue on the top corner here. This is actually the first time I painted today, so I feel so weird. There are days where I have like, I call them marathon painting days. Like I paint a lot all in one day. And then there are days where I do, I cut a lot, because <laughs> um, right now I do cut all my own wood. My mom comes over and helps me hold down all the wood, because <laughs> it gets it gets hard on some of these pieces that you cut out um, for it to like stay sturdy. So she helps me hold them down, and then I cut them with a jigsaw. Um, so some days I cut a whole bunch of wood pieces. Some days I paint a whole bunch. Some days I am like packaging stuff up or doing other like businessy type things, working on my website, blog, that type of stuff. So, so today was more of a business type of day. I was working on some other stuff on my website and things and um, today has been, this is the first time I painted today, so it feels so weird. Sometimes if, if I have a couple days like that in a row, I'm like, I need to paint. <laughs> what is happening? I miss painting. Okay, that looks a real solid blue we have going. So now we have a second coat of blue on the top, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of the blue and the red in the star as well. Wait, I did get a little red on this white. That's fine. No big deal, because we're going we're gonna to make it messy anyway. So, okay. Go ahead and start with this red. So my current kits that are being offered on my website, if you go to art kits, if you go to my website, which is just brokencompasscreations.com, you can go, there's a category labeled um, art kits, and you can go there and see what's currently being offered. And right now I have two two art kits being offered, a sunflower, <laughs> I didn't even realize the perfect uh, sweatshirt for that. A sunflower is one of them, and the other one is this small little ice cream cone that um, is super cute. So those are, I feel like they're two really good summer kits to do, and also good beginner kits. Um, the sunflower, I feel like the sunflower is one of those flowers that is good for summer and 
for fall so it's kind of a nice like transitional decoration when you're kind of in those like weird weird couple weeks where it's not maybe not totally fall or it doesn't feel like fall yet but you know you're you're wanting those fall vibes um it's a good transitional piece and it's super super cute and then um the ice cream cone is a little smaller I have it here actually so this is the ice cream cone so it's really cute you see it's like as big as my head not too big um and it's really cute uh, colors I love this like greeny mint color it's one of my favorite colors and then this is the sunflower so it's bigger it could go on a door or um, in your home somewhere just depending on where you wanted to use it but I think it's big enough to go on a door if you wanted to you know put on your door or give it to someone too for a while I was like before I you know started this business and was just painting and I was started painting a lot and making all sorts of these different things and I'm like what am I gonna do with all of this and a really like cool thing is to give them to people you know it's something you made so it's really unique and it feels very thoughtful for it being handmade so they're just a fun little gift to give to people too even if you're like I don't know where to put this I mean, give it to someone you know anyone and it's just a nice a nice gesture love the ice cream cone looks life size to me I feel like it kind of is it kind of is life size I wish I could eat it but it would be looks delicious so okay. mm -hmm. And the sunflower too, I feel like you could, I'm just going to do the sunflower plain, like keep it simple. Um, but if you wanted to venture out and put a word on it, uh, you totally could. I think that a word would look good on it. Um, if you wanted to put like welcome or hey y'all or anything like that, hello. If you want to make it like a soul fall decoration, you could put like hello fall or something like that um so it just kind of depends i'm starting to get into some uh making some of my like fall signs now because i like i said I, I do a lot of custom orders which are really really fun but i also do just you know normal welcome signs or things for the holidays or whatever season's coming up so i'm kind of starting to work on some fall things i try to work like a season ahead so i have some things in stock that i could sell um, so I've been working on some fall stuff, but I also have been working on some Christmas stuff. Sorry if you hear that, that's my dog. He's getting all whiny. It's okay, man. Um, yeah, I've been working on some Christmas stuff because I'm going to do a Christmas in July art kit. Or kits, I'm gonna do too. Hey, bud. It's okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Um, I'm gonna do some, yeah, Christmas and July kits that I'm pumped about. I'm like, these will either be so successful or totally fall, fall flat on their face because no one cares about Christmas and July. Maybe it's just me, or maybe everyone's gonna be like, this sounds fun. I don't know. <laughs> Could be a total fail or a total success. We don't know. But I'm I did a couple of Christmassy things to, uh, this week, so I was uh, it was kind of fun. But I love Christmas. I could, you know, do Christmas stuff all the time. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. 
So I put the second coat on the middle star, so that's still drying. So what's next is we're gonna put these, I have a star cut out, where did they go? The star cut out that I'm going to trace on my, um, this top blue triangle up here, but I'm gonna dry it first because I wanna make sure it's super dry before I start tracing stuff. Um, I do, I love Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Christiane. Fun fact, Christiane and I were lived together in college and one year we did put up a Christmas tree before Halloween because <laughs> we were so excited for Christmas. Um, yeah, that's that's our level. Is um, just this is a whole other level, and it was awesome. So, okay, I'm gonna hit this with a hair dryer, and then we'll do the stars. So now I'm going to, where did my star, oh, there's my star, and my pencil. So now I'm going to take my star cutout. So if you got the kit, this little star came in the cutout. So if you would have gotten the kit, there would have been Sharpie marked for this whole middle star in these stripes, and then I would have given you this. So the reason I didn't put the Sharpie stars on this design is because the blue would have covered it up so you couldn't have seen through it. Um, so, I gave you a star cutout instead. So we're gonna start, there's five stars, and one is just right here in the middle. I'm gonna look at my completed design here. Okay. Okay, maybe, okay. So, I'm gonna put it just like that in the middle and then trace it with my pencil okay and then I'm gonna do two on each of these like sides here this will probably be like Sorry, I get quiet. I'm like focusing. <laughs> the same so I don't know if you can see them at all but I just traced them on there and I'm gonna do the same on this other side Last 
All right, so now I have my stars painted on up here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it in a cream type color. Um, and this is called Buttermilk. It's another Deco Americana matte paint color. You don't need a ton of it. Um, it's a go-to for me. I really like that color. If you're looking, I don't know, sometimes you just want something like a little off-white. You don't want it to be so bright white. Buttermilk is a really good one. I think there's buttermilk and maybe light buttermilk. I think they're two different colors. But So I'm going to take my smaller round tip brush and paint these stars. I'm just kind of outlining them in this buttermilk color and then I'm going to just fill them in. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? One, we're going to make it rustic so it won't matter. But two, um, it's just okay if, if things aren't, you know, quite perfect. It's the process, the journey makes it beautiful, makes it unique, makes it one of a kind. Okay. So these are definitely gonna need a second coat to cover this blue color. Just flatten that out. You know, it was funny, the other day I had a couple friends over and we were just, you know, painting for fun. Um, and I totally, and I knew this was going to happen to me at some point, like, it's inevitable. But I totally, instead of putting my paintbrush in my, like, paint water, I put it in my drink. I just hate that. <laughs> Oops. Um, I, in the morning, when I paint, I often drink coffee and so I'm always worried I'm gonna put in my coffee but I, 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 that's the worst and then you're just done with your drink at that point is anyone gonna do anything for 4th of July I don't know are, are they gonna have fireworks I don't really know what the plan is for all of that um, but yeah, what do you, I mean, or what do you usually do for 4th of July? Do you ever do your own fireworks? Do you and see fireworks? Do you cook out with your family? What do you guys typically do on the 4th of July? I feel like we don't have any traditions for the 4th of July. <laughs> Depends on the year. Sometimes um, my husband works on the 4th of July, so I don't know what we're going to do this year. I don't know if he works then or not. I'm thinking about... Um, so typically I only do a live painting tutorial for the um, bigger kit. I label it as the adults kit, the bigger kit. But I am thinking about going ahead and doing a live painting tutorial, those Facebook live for the smaller kit too. Um, I know some people, maybe, it, maybe you get it for a kid or maybe you're just, you know, wanting to... Um, paint something smaller or you really like the smaller design or whatnot so I am thinking about doing a painting tutorial for the smaller designs too um, in case you ever you know want to do something smaller so we'll see you should comment down below whether you're watching live or watching the replay if you see this comment if you would 
like me to do a live painting tutorial for not just the adult kids, the big ones, but also the small ones. So it would be for the um, ice cream cone and the sunflower. If you get nervous about painting it or you just want to like paint with me or something. I could do that. I got some fun ideas I'm excited about for some other Facebook Lives to do um, coming up here in the next couple weeks, so that that should be fun. I feel like this quilt square would be really cute um, somewhere like in your home. It's kind of like this medium size that you could definitely put on a door if you wanted to. It wouldn't be like huge, um, but you could put it on a door. But I do think it could look really cute like in a kitchen or something like that. Um, or decor purposes so today when I do the rustic type look I'm gonna use a brush called a chip brush um, I got it from Dollar Tree I believe you can get it from Dollar Tree um, Dollar General Walmart Amazon really anywhere um, and it looks like this and I actually I don't clean it after I use it either like it's a rough brush um, but that's what really it helps give it this like rustic look and I'll show you how to do that um, but it's it's kind of fun it's kind of fun and messy and um, it's just an added bonus that I, it's a brush that I don't have to clean <laughs> I always love that uh, less work, you know what I mean? So, it's a fun little little technique to use if you ever want to make something look just a little bit rustic and whatnot. A little shabby chic going. Okay, so now we have all of our stars painted. And I'm going to go ahead and probably hit it with the hair dryer for a couple seconds and then do a second coat. And then we'll go into the final touches of making it look a little rustic and um, worn. So, let me just dry these stars off. so funny because I don't <laughs> I have this hair dryer and I feel like I never dry my hair now and I just always use it for painting <laughs> never on my actual hair I just let my hair air dry I'm an air dry gal and I'm gonna do a, um, there's this one part of the blue star that just didn't look like I don't know if I missed it on the second coat or if it was just looking a little thin so I'm just putting a quick second coat on it. So yeah, if your, you know, paint ever just looks thin, you can always put another coat on it. As long as it's dry, it's good to put another coat on. Um, you just want to make sure it's dry before. Or else, oh man. So we're going to do this second coat 
of cream. everyone's having a good Friday. It's really beautiful here. I'm like, for whatever reason, I have this desire to play tennis. I don't know why, but recently I've just really wanted to like play tennis, you know, just for funsies. And um, so I'm trying to, well, my husband, I'm not trying to convince him. He said yes, but um, we might go play tennis at some point this weekend because I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, have been wanting to play tennis. So, if you ever just get those like weird cravings to do something, I haven't played tennis in like forever. So, um, I just played like for fun with friends occasionally, very occasionally, back in the day. And so, just one of those like for fun things to do. some people like paint with a lazy Susan so you can just like turn it it's probably a good idea you get less paint on the back of your sign when you do that which is kind of nice I do typically paint the edges um, in the back of my signs and door hangers black um, I just do it because I think it gives it a more finished look but you definitely don't have to I mean no one really like sees the back <laughs> of it um, unless you wanted to paint something on your back, you could make your, you know, door hanger or a sign double sided, like multi purpose or something if you wanted to do, you know, something on one side and something on the other. Um, but otherwise, when I sell them, unless someone specifically orders a double sided design which do cost more if you want something that's double-sided. It does cost a little bit more, obviously, because there's a design on both sides, but um, that's the only time I don't paint it black. So if you want to do that, you definitely can. It gives it a more finished look, but you um, definitely don't have to. I think it looks good as is as well. Okay, so now we have a second coat on all the stars. So everything is good to go before we start to make it a little bit rustic. So I'm going to go ahead and dry these stars real quick. And then 
we'll go in with our chip brush and I'll show you how to do that. patriotic quilt square we're now gonna take our wire whatever chip brush from um, you know Dollar Tree Dollar General and we're gonna take some of this paint so I'm going to just get a little bit more of this red and I kind of do it in like a line like this on a paper plate um, because it just allows me to dip the brush in it like that I'm just gonna do a little line, but you don't have to do that. Um, that just makes it a little bit simpler. All right, so I'm gonna do the red, blue, the buttermilk cream color. Put this on. And then I'm also gonna do a little black. And this is, um, do I have red on this? What's that called? Lamp black. It's lamp black from Deco Art. I know it seems silly that there's different black colors or different white colors because it seems like how could you make a different shade of like black and white? But there are. Um, there's this one is. Oh, I didn't write it on here. I think it's like Snow White. Um, so there's some that are just like a little bit muted. Like I have a soft black. It just it. It's almost like brown. Like it's you know. A little bit more muted of a color so it just depends on what kind of what kind of style you're going for so we're gonna go ahead and start um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cream I'm gonna start with the lightest color so I go ahead and dip it in my brush and then I'm gonna take like my paper towel and just dab some of it off so there's not too much on there and it's almost like a dry brush so what I'll do is I'll take my uh, sign and I, just to kind of test out how much is actually my brush, I often like um, put it up against my the corners or the sides of my door hanger. So that's first of all a really cool look because it just, you know, again, it's not all over. If you just wanted to do that to this or any other um, sign or door hanger you do, it kind of just gives it this like, I don't know, nice little um, edges like that. So I'll dip it in some paint, dab it off, do it on there and then just kind of go back and forth with it until you have whatever colors, however much of the color you want on it. So I'm not going to do too much because I am going to use multiple colors on this one. So I did the cream, now I'm going to go in with the red, dab some off, and just keep on going. So this is just fun like this is just fun to do um because it's just like messy and i don't know i'm gonna get some more of these edges too with the red so um also i should know i am when i'm doing the distress I'm going this way. I'm not like turning like this because it's supposed to actually go like this. I want the grain, whoa, the distressed grain to go in that same type of direction. So I am doing it like that. So then I'm going to go in with the blue. And as you can see, I'm not even cleaning my brush in between colors. I don't even clean it when I'm done with it. Um, I keep it. And I, if you bought a kit, I keep yours because if you ever want to, you know, do some distressing in the future. This is a great 
cool to use. Okay, so coming in with the blue, I'm gonna do some of these edges too with the blue. And then lastly, I'm gonna come in with the black. So typically I do the lightest first because you know, you can, you can always put more on, but you can't take, <laughs> take it off. Um, it's hard to take this stress off. So I like to start with the lighter colors and then go into the darker colors until it's you know as distressed and messy as you want it to be. some of these edges with the black because the black shows up blue. okay so the stressing is really nice just because it adds some texture so even if um like i have some signs where it's just a white background and black lettering totally fine um but i like when i uh, i think it looks better when you add just a little bit of distress to it even if you don't want a lot like this is a good amount of distress even if you don't want a lot, um, and it's even, maybe not even black, it's like gray, it just adds a little bit of texture. It doesn't make it look so flat. And so the distress is kind of nice, even if you're going for something super simple, just to add to it a little bit. So if you can see, it has all this, all this different type of distress on it. So yeah. And as you can see too, like I kind of got out of the lines there on that one. And it's okay because of what we're about to do is going to cover it up. So the last part of this design is you're going to go back to your round tip brush and we're going to use some black paint and we're just going to roughly, roughly outline some of these. So as you can see on this one, I just did some rough outlines of every stripe along the edge in the middle of these guys. So we're gonna do some outlines and then we're gonna do some white highlights. So we'll start with the outlines. Let's see, I really, yeah, okay. So this is kind of nice. And again, this night, I know it's, it scares some people to like go in with back black paint and do like an outline. It feels very like permanent. But if you, first of all, it's messy. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But second of all, um, If you have baby wipes, you can really easily take something off if you're like, oh no, I totally ruined whatever. So I'm not even like trying to make it a perfect, you know, line. I'm just kind of roughly going over it. It gives it this just final touches type look. You do want to make sure you have enough paint on your brush um, to actually be doing it, making any lines. <laughs> so I did all the lines with the black. You see how much more they like stand out with that? They really stand out. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the stars in the middle. Um, design, whatever that is. I don't know if it's a star or whatever you call it. You just want to make sure you have enough paint on your brush. When you're doing the outlines. And if you are watching this live on your phone and you're like, I can't see what you're doing because of the comments, you can swipe right in the comments. You won't see the comments. They won't be in your way. I know some people don't watch a lot of lives and they don't know how to do that. But because the lives, the comments cover up like half the screen unless you swipe it if you're watching on your phone. So just a little tip for you if you didn't know. And you could really do like as much or as little 
of these black outlines. If you didn't want to outline everything, you really wouldn't have to. Um, it's totally up to you. I don't always outline everything. Um, it just depends on, you know, what the design is, what kind of look I'm going for. Because sometimes I try to be much more precise with my outlines and highlights and whatnot, and other times I go for the more whimsical, messy type look, so. And even if your lines like don't fully connect, that's totally fine too. Just gotta make sure you don't dip your hand back in the, the paint that you're, all the, the outlining you're doing right now. Because inevitably that happens to me all the time. I always have paint on my nails. So now I'm just roughly outlining this middle star. Okay, um, so now we have it on the stars and the top and the middle, and I'm gonna go ahead and do do like a rough outline on the edges too. Very rough on there. Just need a little bit more. Again, it doesn't have to be like a solid line or anything. Just gotta, you know, let, let loose, let it go. Okay. So now we have all of our all of our black outlines so everything really pops and the last thing we're going to add is some white highlights just to give it some finishing touches so I'm going to do some white highlights on the red stripes so some on the red stripes, some on the middle star thing, and then a couple around the stars on the top as well. So I need some white. Again, you want to make sure you have enough paint on your brush so you, you can actually uh, make a line. And I'm just, you know, kind of making it whimsical here. So it's a little more than the actual distress on it because it's like an actual full line, not just the little tiny wiry type um, paint strokes. think about where I want to put stuff. Um, and then I'm just going to do some around some 
stars. And that is it, y'all. Here is your rustic um, quilt square. So if you want to buy one of these, you can get them on my website, um, brokencompasscreations.com. Right now, you can get everything under the patriotic category for 25% off if you um, buy from now until July 4th, you can have that 25% off if you use the code USA, the promo code USA, in all caps when you check out. And that will only apply to the actual um, patriotic signs. So the, that was my um, past kit. If you wanna paint with me next time, I have two kits for sale right now you can buy. One is the ice cream cone, this little guy, he's super cute, comes with the paint, the brushes, the wooden blank, everything you need to create this. Um, you can find it on my site. And the other one is this sunflower, again, super cute, um, and everything you need. And it comes with the paint, the brushes, um, the sponge pouncer to make these perfect little um, polka dots and the wooden blank. So if you want to create either of these, you have until next Friday to put your order in. So if you go to my website, there is an art kits um, category and you can see both of them there. This one is $12. This one is $20. Um, I will definitely be painting this one live in a couple weeks. I might even paint this guy live. If you guys are interested, let me know um, if you want me to paint this guy live too. So if you'd like to paint with me, go grab your art kits. So I can, so you can create with me and we'll have a good time. So thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you have a really great rest of your Friday and a good weekend. And I will see you guys next week. All right. Bye y'all.